So do you want to win your country back or do you want to sit home with your hands in your face, throwing your hands up and saying, that's it. We can't beat the Democrats because their grift is too good for us. And it's time we just call it an elect communism, take over the country. Well, that's not what I'm doing. What you have to do is beat them at their own game. Remember the saying, fight fire with fire? Well, this is where you all come in. Seriously, you have to get involved. You have to join MAGA Republicans and play the game that the Democrats play. And what is that game? Pallets and pallets of ballots. I know you all want to go out and vote the day of. It's a great strategy, but it's not enough. These people go out there and get teenage kids that never want to vote. They go to people's houses. They send them pre-printed out ballots. Well, it's time we play the same game. We're going to have to make this next election so insane, so insane that they're going to have no other recourse but to change the way they do elections here. And I mean so insane. If you have someone who can breathe, they got to get a ballot. If you have someone who's just turning of age, Make them sign a ballot because that's what they do. And that's how we beat them. You know anyone that is even upset about what's happening and say, I'm not going to vote. You go to their house, you bring them a ballot, you have them sign it, and you turn it in for them. And you turn it in for them on the day of the election. And I believe President Donald J. Trump has to have Scott Pressler in charge of that. Scott Pressler is the greatest at engaging and recruiting and signing people up to join parties. And we need a bunch of Scott Presters all over the United States, state to state, and we have to organize people. We can't just give our, give up and say, oh, that's it. We're never going to win. The elections are no good. What's the use? What's the use? Let's just... Let's just let communism take over. Is that it? Let's just let the Democrats run rampant. Remember this. We're conservatives. We're not a bunch of whiny little bitches. We actually go out there every day. We hit the pavement. We're working. We're raising families. There's nothing harder than that. Nothing harder than that. But we're going to throw our hands up just because a bunch of flame-throwing tards want to want to want to run elections that just are disgraceful a bunch of people who don't know what orientation they are we're just going to let them take america and steal it from us a bunch of people who don't believe in the founding principles of what this country stands for we're just going to let them take take it from us we actually believe in the greatness of this country so we have to actually fight for the greatness of this country. Giving it to the people who hate it is the worst thing in the world that can happen to all of us. And as I told you before, the only ones who are going to do it is MAGA. People who love this country. People who want to make America great again. We're the only ones who are going to do it. It's not going to be the Democrats. It's not going to be their supporters, the haters of America. It's not going to be the Republicans, the rhinos, because they're working together with the Democrats to launder money to Ukraine to go back to them so they could give to Democrat PACs and destroy this country. So it has to be freedom fighters, people who love this country. There are over 100 million geeked up MAGA prospects out there, and we have to get them involved. We have to all put in the work and say, let's do this. Let's make America great again. And let's play their game. Let's fight fire with fire. Let's have pallets of ballots too. The next election is not going to just take a week. It's going to take a year to figure out who won. Because we're going to have so many ballots. And in the end, we're going to win. You know why? Because we're all going to be there sitting there as they count the ballots. The ballots that we brought in. The ballots that they decided is how they want these elections run. And that's how we win America. And then after we do that, we're going to get those people that we put in power and they're going to stop this all. And we're going to go back to the America we all love. Anyway, that's how we do it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.